another factor that played a role. At NYU, the NYU cable included this station, I don't know if it still exists, but it was called the International Channel. And every night, no, no, only once a week, there was a show that would come on called, originally it was uh, Korean Music Countdown and later Music Video Heaven. It was the same show, but they changed the title. Um, and I guess I had just like left the TV on one night. I usually watch Comedy Central, but I guess I switched it and I saw these music videos. And I wasn't sure they were Korean at first because I wasn't used to hearing the language. But like, I could tell, I mean, I, I can understand, like recognize what's Japanese, I can recognize Mandarin, and I could tell it was neither. And then I guess maybe I saw the characters and I began to figure out like, Oh, they're all Korean music videos. And, like, I saw something. Like, I had seen, I'll talk about this in another video, but I was familiar with Japanese culture and entertainment. I got a different sense from, from the Korean stuff. Like, Japanese stuff is very, I don't want to say loud, but it's very expressive. And the Korean stuff was too, but not like in an overt, uh, like breaking all the walls and trying something completely new way. Uh, you know, dissociate what I'm saying here from what what you know about my you know K-pop. Like back in this, this was 2003, 2004, and like the dance music from that time or like the 2000 era was was more catchy. It was more innocent. Like I, I kind of miss that stuff. Like. Like Beck Ji Young, DJ DOC, uh, Lee Jung Hyun. Like, I don't know, that stuff. Uh, I didn't mind watching it and listening to it. There were also a bunch of ballads. Uh, I, but I found, I kind of like Lee Soo Young. I, I noticed Jao Reem. They were the only rock group that they featured on the show. And they were the ones that I immediately thought, like, oh, this group has. Like, the first video of theirs I saw was Vlad, which is from their fourth album, and I could immediately tell, like, oh, there's something good here. And, like, over the next year, I ended up buying, like, from ordering overseas, like, all of their albums. Um, but, like, I could, I got this sense of, I don't want to call it pride, but, like, where people are doing something, and you don't quite understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, but you can see that they have a very deliberate intention behind it. And it's something like you want to know, you want you want to understand it because it looks like they are very proud of it. They're very it's hard to explain. But I felt that way. I felt like I want to know more about Korea because there's something going on here. And up until that point I didn't know anything about Korea. <laughs> So that, that, you know, living in Manhattan and seeing these music videos started to get me thinking, you know, what's going on in Korea.